Hello and welcome. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I just wanted to do a little something something where I am checking in with my people and giving you a heart to heart about how I feel, what's going on with me, some of the things that are coming up for me, and just a general overview of like <laughs> taking the taking the temperature and finding out where the flow is at this time in Earth's history because it's very chaotic. There is a lot going on. And I think people are falling into states of fear and anxiety and denial, which is not helpful. And I wanted to just talk about it a little bit because I think that if we allow ourselves to indulge lower moods, then we become those lower moods, meaning those lower moods are our vibration. And we create based upon our vibration. And if we're in our fear, if we are in our reaction, if we're in our anxiety or our anger or our grief, if we are in that, then we create from the space of that. If we're in the vibration of confusion, and so many people are right now confused about what's going on in the world. But if we stay in the state of confusion, then we create more of this because you see, the way that you feel about yourself is how you create for yourself. The way you feel about the world is how you create your world to be. First a man thinketh. He has an idea or he has a thought. An idea is more intentional than a thought. Too many of us don't have enough ideas, word. Too many of us just have thoughts. And these thoughts are based on what we're watching or how we are scrolling. They're not intentional thoughts. But we allow ourselves to think these things, these lower things. And then soon, if we think them enough, what happens? Well, we feel accordingly. We vibrate in accordance to the thought that we are having. And once we feel it, now we're creating it. And I think you can kind of tell what happens when the collective, and I mean the collective consciousness, is thinking in a non-intentional way or thinking in a fear-based way, thinking in an anxious way. When the collective consciousness is in the vibration of fear, we just create more of this. It is incumbent upon every spiritual person to take responsibility for the way that they feel about themselves. It is incumbent upon every single spiritual person to take responsibility for their thoughts about their brother and their sister. It is incumbent upon you to understand and to live from the energy and the vibration of your divine self-concept. How do you even find that? How can you even research as to what that is if all you do is spend time scrolling? looking at all these terrible stories, watching your YouTube videos and your, your uh, preferred mainstream media source of outrage. And if you're always doing that, and then when you're not doing that, if you're spending time talking about that with everybody else and in the energy of that, well, then you are just contributing to all of us going off the rails on a crazy train. I always come back to everything is just you pushed out. Every person that you meet is talking to the you that exists inside of you and is a version of the you that you are in the inner world. Every job offer, every job you take and work is just you pushed out. It's what you feel like you're worth. It's based on the creativity that you allow to exist inside of you. And if you don't, then your job and your opportunities and your purpose reflects this. Everything is just you pushed out. Your health is you pushed out. Your bank account is you pushed out. Your friendships, these are you pushed out. And until you take responsibility for you, who you are, and again, who you feel yourself to be, nothing in your life is going to change, much less Ukraine and Russia. What I think we need to do is to get way more dedicated to conscious change. This leads me to the first thing that I wanted to talk to you about that I am doing, which is facilitating holy agreements meetings. What is a holy agreement meeting? 
Well, a holy agreements meeting is free, first and foremost. It is something that happens over Zoom. It is a perfectly private circle of people who gather together to agree upon ushering in things like healing, shift, manifestation, and more. Whatever you and I agree upon, by the way, universal law says, and Jesus also said, whatever we agree upon, our Father in heaven, which is source energy, the all that is, is compelled, and I would say required to give it to us. That is the way it works. And so what if you and I agreed on things like stopping the war in Ukraine? What if we agreed upon turning the tide of this inflation? What if we agreed upon turning the tide with division amongst people and political parties and ethnicities and classes? What if you and I started getting very conscious about what we agree upon? That is the whole purpose for a holy agreement meeting. I want to have these monthly, but that is contingent upon my schedule and also my energy and my health. The last couple of months, I have been unable to do it due to the latter. So tomorrow, April 15th, 2022 is going to be our April Holy Agreements meeting. And if you would like to attend, if you have the heart set for it, so not just the mindset to do the work, but I'm talking about the heart set, the Esther heart set to be present and to be in a sacred space in a productive way. If you have that mindset and heart set, then go to crystallancompton.com slash agreements, crystallancompton.com slash agreements and join my holy agreements mailing list. This list will get the schedule of new meetings and also the invite codes to attend. If you can get to it before tomorrow, if you want to attend, perfect. I'm going to send an email today. I'm going to send an email tomorrow. And then of course, I will be sending an email out in May because we already have that one scheduled. The other thing that's coming up that I'm excited about is the 2022 channeling intensive. Now look, listen, listen, I know we run intensives. We run them every year. And, and you might, the last time we ran this one, I think was two years ago. But I'm going to tell you, this is one of my favorite programs because it was crafted and channeled in a specific way to direct students into dynamic experiences with their divine emissaries, meaning actual experiences with angels, with masters, with nature elementals, with your higher self, your higher frequency guide, and so on. This whole program is designed to get you connected to that. And then to teach you how to channel that. Channeling, of course, is not some mystical gift or talent reserved for other people. Channeling is natural. Channeling is human. And I would say you've probably already channeled in your life a multitude of times. You just didn't know it. In this program, we teach you how to do it. So if you're interested, it starts May 9th, which is my birthday. May 9th is my birthday. I'm a Taurus sun, a Libra moon and an Aquarius rising. Yes. <laughs> but it starts on my birthday, May 9th. It is a six-week live online program. And let me tell you something. If you want to come, if you want to connect, and if you want to be in a conscious community, this is the program to be in. Link is right here and also in the description. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you was that this is not actually formal yet. It's not fully organized, but it's coming this summer, I believe, because Spirit's telling me. Spirit's telling me to do it. And if Spirit tells me to do it, I know I got to do it. I am going to be recreating, reproducing one of my most, no, really my most popular program called Many Mansions. Many Mansions was a program that I offered years ago, which helped people to connect to interdimensionality. Like it's not just about third dimensional living, y'all. This is this is a matrix. This is an illusion. And we exist inside of a multidimensional construct. And the gag is we have access to each and every one of these dimensions. And I want to teach about that. I want to teach about the dimensions within dimensions and parallel spaces and universes. And I also want to talk about planes of consciousness and cosmic rays. I want to talk about the omnidimensionals, the ultra dimensionals, the fourth dimensionals. We're also going to get into things like crop circles because let's ask the question, what is a crop circle? Most people think, well, they're fake. I'm here to tell you 
I don't think so. I think some of them are fake, but many of them are not. But why are they happening? And could they be activations? Activations to get the people who have eyes to see and ears to hear in alignment with whatever energy is being offered. Clearly, <laughs> that's what I think it is. So we're going to talk about crop circles. We're also going to talk about etheric implants. We're going to talk about probably archons. I'm not super into the fear porn complex of a lot of that mythology, but I think we should talk about some of that. We're going to talk about abductions, what's really going on, highlighting Whitley Strieber, and also talking about one of Whitley's most favorite meditations. I mean, there's a lot. We also get into how to channel interdimensionals, different races of interdimensionals, how to know if you're a star seed and everything. Like it's a robust program. I think it's going to take place over four weekends. It is just me. This is not an LSA program. So I want you to watch this space and also watch all my social medias. By the way, are you following me on Instagram? Because if you're not, you should, because I have all my links there. Also check out my website because anything I am doing is going to be on my website, crystallandcompton.com. And of course, check out my YouTube because I'm going to be uploading. I still upload content here, even though it feels like nobody watches. I, I think YouTube has actually, if uh, it might be keyword related, I don't know. Like if you have certain keywords like psychic or psychic abilities, I know TikTok has recently clamped down on that and started erasing some of the people who do that from the algorithms. And YouTube might've been doing that to me for a long time. I'm not sure, but I know that I'm gonna still show up here because I feel like it's something has got to give at some point. So if you follow me here, make sure you hit the bell. So every time I upload, you will get that notification and comment. Let me know what you're thinking. I know I have some videos to produce for you. Again, I have not been feeling well until just last week when I got to go to the doctor and now I'm feeling better. But uh, I know there's some videos that you guys asked for that I actually really want to create. And there's also a Reddit post I want to share with you. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that I want to do. Also, please make sure you're following my podcast, Life Magnetics. Are you subscribed to your girl? Have you left me a good review? Like really that truly helps listen because I try to do a couple of podcasts each month. Sometimes I manage like three or four a month, but I'm trying to contribute content there. And I also have the Spirit Pop podcast, which is where I meet up with my good friend, Brian. And we discuss all manner of trending news, trying to bring in a spiritual perspective. And we also talk about spiritual concepts as well. So I'm out here. I'm out here trying to meet and connect with people. And I just want you to connect with me. Come on, wake up, people. Wake up. Don't drown in the toxicity and the negativity on this planet right now. It is an illusion. And the dark forces would say, yes, we want you to buy into it. Look how bad it is. Feel bad about it. So you can say, stay stuck in patterns and regurgitate the negativity and further contaminate the atmosphere. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Delete, delete, delete. I am a warrior for spirit. I am pure light showing up on the planet right now to shift it and change it. That's where I'm at, y'all. Am I am I the only one? Are you with me? Like, who's with me? I want to know who you are. Let's stay together. We can do this together. It's not just about Crystal and Compton. It can't ever be about that. You are just me pushed out. And by the way, you look very good today. Okay, you really do. <laughs> but I want to do it all with you. So that's what's going on. That is what's coming up. And if you want to just stay connected, these are all the places to do it. All right, guys, on that note, I got nothing but love for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.